It's NFL action live from Tokyo, Japan at the world-famous Krokyo Dome. And the Terminators are being oiled and charged up in anticipation of a successful campaign today. Oh, that sounds like being at the Gage House massage parlor last night, Ben. Happy ending? Uh, well, if you mean getting tossed into the prana tank in the lobby, yes, they're very happy, Ben. Very happy ending. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Full Metal Mayhem bang heads against the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a mile. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Dirt sandwich. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown!
straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. Yeah, good game for time. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. Runs it for three. Third down and three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly 
Second down and five. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and charges the ball loose. Third down and five. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Oh, nobody light a match. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high-risk ball. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. 
No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Briggs, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. It's a zap attack. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And the defense recovers the ball. And he's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. On a kind of not clenching and kicks. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, that gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he pulled out a chainsaw, and now he's slicing and dicing his way. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord, and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Second down and five. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a... Oh, and that's... 
That's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And they are out of timeouts. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? smash a clock that's not a great enemy we're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon we're talking about the mfl you moron And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gun. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First ten and three. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all up. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. You now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget, lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Now, and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and six. It 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. Third down and, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. Third down and never gonna happen. First and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. down and long. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. chip shot here extra point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't a broad in my bed it was a chip wearing a First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Man, 
Oh, man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me? She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me? He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> no, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Hey, asshole, up here! Talking to you! And he picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and six. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and five. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. down and well good luck they've used a strawberry fields dirty trick <laughs> those guys don't know which way forward is now and an eight yard gain on that one like when bricks's mom decided to move back in with us well, i want sean kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg he used it like a golf club that wasn't a leg you moron and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power that grin like a high cool. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's 
First and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall out. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my hand. Chainsaw's really in the way of <laughs> First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. You've got to catch that. Third down and three. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake it's good let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever First and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown!
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. And that'll bring us to the two minute warning. It's do or die now. Third down and, well, good luck. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. First down, he was not gonna drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And it's first and 10. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. That's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Oh. 
Second down and a very lot. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. for a first down. The Terminator has got terminated today and come up with a big loss. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid-raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.